Welcome everyone to Kinesiology 120 or 121, Concepts of Wellness. I'm Dr. Beasley, your instructor for this course, and there are two numbers related for this course. There's Kinesiology 120 and 121. 120 is mainly just the course code for traditional undergraduate students, and 121 is the course code for the degree completion program. Exact same course, just different numbers. Now in this presentation, I want to provide you with a general overview of the course and some of the expectations for the next six weeks. Before you jump right in, take a moment and familiarize yourself with the layout and the design. For the most part, the weekly modules are going to follow the same format. I'll generally have a video that provides some instructions and reviews some of the expectations for the week. Next to this, there's going to be some additional information, announcements, maybe a reminder, or just other comments that I have for you there. Below this is going to be all the course related information. First, there'll be a faith integration component. And this may be a devotional, a video, or a faith-based story. There's no points for the faith integration components, but I do hope that they will be motivational or inspirational for you as you progress through the course. So it's completely optional. I'll also have assignment forms, the discussion forms, video presentations, tests, all the other important required information for the course. There will be additional information included within each assignment form link, so if you select one of the assignment forms, it will provide more information and guidance towards completing any assignments. Be sure that you read through all of the information for a complete understanding of what you need to do. This course is considered asynchronous, which means you can log into Moodle at any time to complete the coursework and do this on your own schedule. There are no required times to log in, so you can access the weekly information and then progress at your own pace. I will open each weekly module on Monday mornings and most of the coursework is to be completed by Sunday evening. Keep in mind that the discussion forums are gonna require you to post a response during the week, usually on Tuesday, and then engage in a discussion or respond to your classmates, usually by Thursday. Now in the online setting, a lot of students fail to see the value in threaded discussions. The purpose of these are really to mimic the in-class communication that takes place in that face-to-face -face setting. These discussions will give you an opportunity to share your ideas, maybe even test or challenge your ideas in comparison to classmates, hopefully see things from a different perspective, contribute and engage in the course material, and ultimately enhance your learning. So don't take these for granted. They're important um, for your learning and for the success in this class. Now you have my contact information. It's posted in Moodle as well as in the course syllabus. Feel free to contact me anytime. Email me, call me, or in the case of an emergency, you also have my cell phone number so you can call me or text me there. I do want to be available for you to answer any questions and clarify anything that may be confusing. Now there's also the Q&A form in Moodle. You can post any course related questions there at any time. All students can view the questions posted in the Q&A form. So make sure you avoid you know, submitting anything or posting anything um, personal. Also, anyone in the class can respond to questions in the Q&A form. So if you see a question there and you have the answer to it, feel free to type in the answer. I will typically respond to those questions within 6 to 12 hours also. Now, As you look at the syllabus, you'll see the course description. And this course is really an introductory study of what we call the five core dimensions of wellness, which include the spiritual, physical, emotional, social, and intellectual wellness areas. Now, the idea is to evaluate your personal life habits as they relate to each of these dimensions, to understand how these contribute to your quality of life, and to challenge yourself to improve in all of these areas, especially those which you may be struggling in, and then to understand why it's important to gain a balance within all the dimensions of wellness. There is a lot of material to cover in just a short period of time, so be sure you avoid procrastinating and try your best to plan and organize your time carefully. There's not much room for mistakes and you don't want to find yourself wishing you did things differently. So think about how you can better organize your time. Sometimes life gets in the way, but don't think you can wait until the weekend to complete everything. Work a little bit during the week. It makes the, the workload a lot easier for you. And a misconception with online education is that many people feel it's easier. In actuality, it's more challenging. Not only is the expectation to cover more content in a shorter period of time, but it also requires you to be more diligent, more proactive, and more disciplined. So you have to make the time to complete the coursework in, ad in addition to balancing everything else you have going on. You'll also see the different learning outcomes, the SLOs or student learning outcomes that are listed. There are the kinesiology program student learning outcomes and the course student learning outcomes. Be sure you familiarize yourself with these. They will be addressed and ultimately assessed throughout this course. The textbook for the class is the Harper text. 
um, health and wellness, honoring God in body, mind, and spirit, second edition. And since there are some required readings this week, hopefully you've already obtained the textbook and already begun to start completing those reading assignments. Also included in the syllabus are what I call tips for success. Take some time and read through these. These are vital to your success in the course and in your ed education overall. I've included these for a reason, so don't simply overlook them. You are accountable for what you learn in the course and following these tips will be helpful. As I mentioned before, there's a lot of work to do in this course and it needs to be completed in a short period of time and the quality of your work is important. So following these tips will be beneficial. Next in the syllabus, you'll see the course calendar and the weekly expectations. This gives you a quick look at what topics are gonna to be covered, the online instructional components that should be viewed, uh, the assignments that are gonna be due. Much of this information is also gonna be duplicated in Moodle, but be sure you are aware of what assignments are due and when they're due. While most assignments are due on Sunday evenings, remember that the threaded discussions will be due during the week. Now all assignments must be typed, professionally completed, display a high quality level of work. All assignments need to follow the APA guidelines, which includes a cover sheet with your title, with your name, your full name, the title of the assignment, my name, the course number, the name of the class, and the date. Failure to include this information will result in a loss of points on a submitted assignment, so don't lose meaningless assignments because you forgot to do this. Now take a look at the assignments for the course. Because I will have more detailed instructions each week throughout Moodle, I'm not gonna go through them in detail here, but be sure you're aware of what's expected within each of these. There's your attendance and participation, which is really determined by you simply logging into Moodle and completing the assignments and viewing any videos that have been posted there. There are several lab assignments that will be completed, um, tests, uh, article and video reflections, there's threaded discussions, a resume and cover letter, a debate paper, a public service announcement, and your signature assignment for this course is your wellness research paper. There are written guidelines and instructions for all of these in addition to presentation material covering the expectations. Now I've tried to provide you with some thorough and detailed information, but it's useless unless you read it. So be sure you read through all of the posted information, view any videos in their entirety before attempting to complete the assignments. It'll be pretty clear when I view your assignments as to whether or not you've read the instructions or listened to the information covering the expectations. So take the time, view all the material, and ask questions if you're not sure about something. I will let you know what you, what, what you need to do, but I don't know what you're confused about unless you ask questions, so be sure you keep that line of communication open with me. Now I have the point values listed there for you to follow along, and you can kind of determine your points as you complete the assignments. Um, in addition, you will see the estimated time to complete assignments. Of course, this is gonna vary from student to student, but it does provide you with a general estimate on how much time you should be spending preparing for the assignments, reading, researching, investigating material, writing, and revising all of your assignments. All of these things are considered class time and they do contribute to what I consider your high quality level, your thoughtful and thorough assignment submissions in your work. So next you'll see my message to you in regards to teaching and learning. And I'm not gonna read this, I want you to read this, but basically the bottom line is you will get out of this course and any course for that matter, as much as you put into it. You are responsible for how much you're going to learn. I do hope that the information covered in this class is meaningful and beneficial, and I hope you're able to see what you can take, apply, um, utilize from this course, and improve your own personal overall health and wellness, and ultimately what we're looking at is stewardship of the body. So take a look at that, read through that, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. All the assignments in the course must be submitted to Moodle, and all of the assignments must be submitted as a Microsoft Word file. If you're using an older program, Pages for example, and Pages is just Mac's version of Microsoft Word, you can save or export your assignment as a Microsoft Word document. Always be aware of the due dates as well as the due times of the assignments because if you submit the improper assignment, the late penalty is gonna apply. So any late penalty, late submission of any assignment is going to immediately receive a 25% point deduction and 25% will be deducted for each day it is late regardless. No excuses, no exceptions. This also applies to assignments, as I mentioned before, submitted in the incorrect format. If I'm unable to open it, I'm also unable to grade it. So here's a quick note. If you submit an assignment on time, but then some, for some reason you realize you made a mistake, you cannot correct the mistakes before the due date and then repost the assignment later on thinking it's going to be submitted on time. 
If you make revisions to an assignment and you still post those revisions or a new updated assignment after the due date, it is still considered late and the point deduction will be applied. So be sure you submit the work when it's ready to be submitted. There will be times when I may send periodic updates or announcements. These are either going to be communicated through Moodle or your FPU email. Make sure you check your, the Moodle site and your FPU email regularly. There are instructions on how to forward your email or set up your email on your mobile device. So if you don't know that, ask me, I'll send you some more information about that. I'm not going to communicate with anyone using their personal email. So once again, make sure you are frequently checking your FPU provided email. This is a three unit course. You are expected to spend about 15 to 25 hours a week on any course related material. And a lot of people try to squeeze this time into the weekend only. If you wait to the weekend to begin working on assignments, not only are you setting yourself up for the need to make excuses because something will always go wrong, but you're also sacrificing the quality of the work that you produce. It's pretty clear when you complete your assignment as to how much time went into working on that assignment. Don't sacrifice the outcome of this course because of procrastination. Now, if you have not done so, familiarize yourself with the grading scale and the university policies, the procedures, because there are some important things that as a student you need to be aware of, which are included in these policies and procedures. Now, let me take a moment and emphasize the importance of completing your own work. If you obtain any information from any source, be sure you cite that source. I've included a PowerPoint presentation on avoiding plagiarism because this is very important and we found a lot of issues with this throughout the university. An academic integrity violation can result in a fail in the class as well as the violation being reported to the dean of the university. You can also be dismissed from the university, so be sure to avoid any possible plagiarism issues. At any time, if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'm here to help. I'm here to clarify that may be anything that may be confusing, so feel free to reach out to me if you need to. Now at any time, if you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'm here to help you. I'm here to clarify anything that may be confusing, so feel free to reach out to me if needed. I hope this course is meaningful to you and I hope you learn some good values and reflect on some personal responsibility issues as they relate to all the different dimensions of wellness that we're going to cover. Take care for now and I will see you online.